top five tips to spot fake fees at a car dealership. Hello, it's Elizabeth from the Homework Guide team. Welcome to another great car buying advice video. Car dealers have gotten really crafty since 2020. Not only are they boldly charging more for new and used cars than ever before, but they've invented a lot more fake fees and ways to pad their profits even after you agree to the price of a car. In response to viewer input, we recently posted a survey on a community page titled, Dealer refuses to sell you a car if you don't. Paying for extra fees and unwanted products made up 45% of homework guy viewer responses. It's all baloney, friends. So here are five practical ways to know if a fee is fake or not. Number one, government fees are not taxed and are indeed real fees, whether you like them or not. These typically include the transfer, licensing, registration, etc. Feel free to call your local motor vehicle licensing office and straight up ask what are the appropriate fee amounts when buying and registering a car. Some government fees are the same no matter which car you're buying, and others are based on the specific vehicle weight, if it has four or six tires like a dually, mileage, etc. And every state will be different. I would start by finding the vehicle you want to buy, and then give your county office a call with as many specifics as you can on that vehicle. Because the only way the dealer knows what the exact fees are is to call the county office and ask for the specifics on that vehicle. Don't forget that the out the door price for government fees should show the exact dollars and cents. There are no government fees that are a square $150. It's going to be a title fee of $47.89 and registration plates for $76.94 for a total of $137.33. Number two, city sales taxes. About two years ago, I bought a used car that fit my needs perfectly and was a great deal for the price. I found it at a used car dealer in a big city a couple hours away. It was after negotiating the price of the car, getting the exact government fees applied, that I was in for a surprise. The state sales tax there was 6.85%. However, the city that the car dealer was located in charged an additional 3.15% on vehicle sales, making it a square 10% sales tax charge. Now, this city has around 20 different car dealerships in it, so you can imagine a lot of unsuspecting people would go there to find a vehicle. While city tax is a real fee, the city was making buco bucks from car dealers. Lesson learned. Let's do the math we have so far for a nice used car. Sale price is $10,000. Add your exact government fees. Title fees, $47.89. Registration and plates, $76.94. Local sales tax where the dealer is located, including state and city, was 10%. Now we're at $11,000. Add in those fees without taxing them, and the total is $11,137.33. That was the easy part, the out-the-door price. Here come the fake fees. Tip number three, fees you cannot actually put your finger on, meaning what are you actually being charged for? Where is this located on the vehicle? Nowhere, it's only in the dealer's head because he's trying to double dip. When a dealer buys a used car from a customer on trade-in, it's no mystery that any and all knocks against that used car are deductions that result in a lower trade-in value. We have several videos explaining trade-in values and if you're interested, there's a link to a playlist above and in the description box below. Don't be fooled and pay for something twice. Some popular double dip fees include dealer prep fees, reconditioning fee, advertising fee, internet fees, inspection fees, administrative fees. Believe me, the dealer has already marked up the price of the car to cover the cost of running a business. So be smart and ask for these fees to be removed. And yes, it is gross to double dip. Number four, added product fees that you don't want. Again, we've done several videos on the old school tactics like window etching and theft protection that are nothing more than greatly overpriced pieces of junk. But now many dealers are insisting that all their vehicles must be sold with pre-installed add-ons like paint protection, fabric protection, rust proofing, GPS tracking, etc. And they claim you can't take it off. You just need to stand your ground and be ready to walk away. Number five, taxable fees. All fees that are not government required fees are added taxable fees. It doesn't matter what the fee is called on the car contract. And dealers have come up with some pretty convincing names lately. A calculator will reveal fake fees every time. So our car was priced at 10 grand, but now there's an added procurement fee, 750. Out of state fee, 375. Shipping fee, 1900. No trade-in fee, 500. Ouch. That brings a taxable amount to 13,525. Multiply by 1.1 for the 10% sales tax. And now you're looking at 14,877.50. Add back in the government fees of 137.33, and the total would be $15,014.83. If any of those fees were legitimate, this number would be lower. Okay, friends, this video was meant to get you started. If you still have questions or want more thorough information on fake fees, check out Kevin's video, 11 Fake Fees Do Not Pay at Dealerships. 
Please keep the convo going by commenting on this video with new dealer fees that you found in your area. And to get extra smart, read the top viewer comments on Kevin's video as well. When you're educated and prepared before looking for the vehicle, there won't be any surprises and you can be in control of your car deal. Yes, even in today's market. So that you know I'm not just blowing smoke here, here are some of the best viewer comments from September and October 2021 about avoiding the fake fees and car dealer scams. Leechburg Lights writes, I picked up my vehicles in July 2020 and April 2021. I paid a reasonable market price from two dealerships. If any of the above fake fees were forced upon me, I would have walked out no questions asked. I wouldn't even negotiate. The buyer is still king and makes a decision. Standing up for yourself should be the first thing in any negotiation. Thanks. RJ writes, I bought vehicles in January of 21 and June of 21. I believe I got a fair or even, I dare say, a good deal on both. I had good experiences, but it seems that's tough to do these days. Both dealers I worked with had absolutely none of this BS stated above. I would have walked instantly if I was forced to pay some of these ridiculous fees. Thanks to Kevin Elizabeth, I am well informed and will never be taken advantage of by these tactics. Yeah! Animation by Dylan shared, in my area, the affordable cars are loaded with three to five thousand dollars worth of silly dealer extras and options and they will under no circumstance remove them. Not illegal and not a problem. I laugh and walk. We are investigating the legality of fake fees and shady car business practices and we'll have more to share in the future. And finally, Einar writes, one of the eight dealers, eight dealers, wow, good homework that I spoke with while trying to special order a 2022 F-250 told me a $700 paint and fabric protection package was mandatory. While annoying, I get that maybe it's already applied to the vehicles in their inventory, but this was a special order. They wouldn't order a vehicle for me from the factory unless I agreed to let them add $700 in junk to it when it arrives, and they wouldn't negotiate on pricing from MSRP. I left and found a dealer who offered to sell it to me at $250 over the invoice with no additional junk. Way to go. All right, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and please always remember to comment on our videos and share them with your family and friends. Comments really matter because they help boost our searchability and lead others to rate Homework Guy content too. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks everyone for coming back and we'll see you on our next video. As Kevin always says, you guys rock. I'm the amazing Elizabeth. Gotta go.